hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how we can install rancher on top of docker if you don't know what is rancher you can head over to rancher.com and read about it it's a extremely useful and an excellent platform for managing different kubernetes cluster imagine if you have clusters which are running in cloud or on premise you can integrate both of these types of clusters into one single platform and manage everything from there so let's jump in and install rancher today we are going to use docker to install rancher today but you can install rancher on top of any kubernetes cluster using the helm charts and there are different other installation methods today we are going to install rancher 2.4 basically the version 2x so let's go to rancher docs and we are going to install the rancher 2x version so we are going to click on rancher v2.4 documentation here So when we click on it, we land up to the documentation of Rancher 2x installation page. And here on the left hand side, we can see that installing and updating Rancher section is already there. So we can just expand that. And then we can see that there are different ways of installation. Installation requirements has been already been specified here. Installing Rancher on a Kubernetes cluster or other installation methods so we are going to click on other installation methods and today's demo we are actually going to install rancher on single node using docker okay so we are going to click on this link it is going to show you different sections for installing rancher on docker okay so it first shows you regarding the requirements for the OS, docker versions hardware and networking so we are going to see uh, the installation requirements so let's click on installation requirements and let's scroll down a bit and we can see that it has a section for installing in docker so we are going to use the script which has been provided by rancher to install docker so we can just copy this link and go back to terminal and today we are actually using uh, ubuntu 18.04 lts release distro you can use 20.04 as well so here you can just simply paste this and also add a sudo command to run it as root you might be asked for providing the password and then it says that you have already installed it then you do not have to do that if you do not want to install you can control c to exit since i have already installed i have exited but if you want to install it in your own machine you can always do that it's very straightforward simple install so go ahead and install it so let's see the docker version which i have already installed in this ubuntu vm so yes i can see that i have already installed 1903 so let's move to the next section of installing rancher so now we'll again go back to the other installation methods here and hit the plus sign and we'll now click on installing rancher on a single node using docker so if you go down this navigation pane you will see that there is an option of installing rancher in this section which is called advanced options for docker install let's click on it Now on the right hand side in the page 
we can go till the bottom scroll down to the bottom and we can see that we have an option of running rancher and rancher agent on the same node since i am going to install rancher on the same node basically in the same virtual machine for us it's basically ubuntu 18.04 lts virtual machine so i am going to choose this installation method so let me copy this and let me clear the screen and paste it now here i am going to do a little bit of change here since i am using the 2.4 version of the rancher for this demo so i am not going to install rancher latest here because if i install rancher latest it is going to install 2.5 or higher so for this demo since i have chosen rancher 2.4 so i am going to utilize the latest version of rancher 2.4 which is 2.4.16 so let's add this and hit enter now since this image is not already there so it is going to install the image locally okay so let's fix the version number quickly we have to add a v here at the beginning of the version and then let's hit enter now since this version is not already downloaded into our local machine so it is going to take a little bit of time to download let's wait for it all right so now the rancher 2.4.16 is installed basically downloaded and the container image has run now we can see if it is running and we can see that the rancher is now up and running all right we are good here now we can go to the browser and let's hit the url with the ip of that machine as well as the default port which is 80 and 80 and it will actually redirect to a https version but since the certificate we are using is a local only certificate so it is going to warn you about whether or not it is private and secure just ignore that and click on advance and proceed to the url it will present you with a username and password section where you need to set the password for the first time so i am going to set the password and then i agree to the terms and conditions and click on continue now it is going to save the current URL as the default URL to, re to launch Rancher. So I am going to save this URL as well. Now we are into the dashboard of Rancher. This is the UI which actually comes out of the box with the Rancher, which helps tremendously uh, to you know manage your clusters as well as manage your workloads. We'll see more about how to deploy workloads into Rancher in later videos. But for now, let's add a cluster to work with. So let's click on Add Cluster. And for today's demo, we are going to work with the existing nodes. So basically, trying to use the same node where the Rancher has been installed or running. So we are going to choose from existing nodes. Let's click on it and let's name the cluster as our dev cluster. And we are not going to change anything. 
but feel free to add anything if you want to if you want to mark it with some levels uh, you can always do that the latest version of the kubernetes which comes with uh, the rancher is 1.18 which is not too backdated i would say it's uh, I, I can see like it's the two version back but uh, we are good with it we can start working on it so let's select that and let's scroll down and let's hit next now since we are utilizing the same node for everything so basically in kubernetes term it will be used as the control plane as well as the data plane or the worker nodes since the worker node is already selected we are going to choose the etcd and the control plane also for the same node and then the script is already prepared by rancher so we are going to copy on it now let's come back to the terminal here and then paste the command which has been created by rancher ui okay so this is going to install the rancher agent which will help provisioning the node into the rancher cluster so let's hit enter and it might ask you for a password so please provide the password and now since the rancher agent is also not uh, available locally so it is going to download let's wait for some time installed basically running in your local machine you can check that by running docker ps to see the docker processes sure enough we can see that the rancher agent is running and it's up 15 seconds so now we can go back to the rancher ui and hit done so it is going to this might show you this kind of uh, screen once again because the rancher agent is actually working in background or provisioning the cluster so you may be thrown out of the ui for some time it is very first time is going to happen when the cluster is being created so just uh, don't panic just ignore this and click on advance and hit on proceed so you'll be able to see that we have been redirected to the dashboard and you can see that the cluster is being provisioned so just wait for some time it is going to provision the cluster in few minutes all right now the cluster is up and running it took around 10 to 15 minutes for me now our dev cluster is active and the api server is active you can see there are some informations already coming uh, in the dashboard here the version of the kubernetes is using it is being used is version 1.18 and how much of the processing power has been utilized as well as how much of the memory has been utilized and how many nodes have been added into the cluster so if you want to go more and explore about the cluster you can click on this cluster name here and you will be able to see more information about the cluster when it has been created and uh, what is the status the health status of it is a the control manager scheduler and nodes you can utilize this cluster right away by using this cube config file you can just open the cube config file and copy it to clipboard and you can utilize it from your local machine by setting the kube config to this config file so we'll see more about how to deploy workloads in later videos but until then that's for today and uh, thank you very much for watching please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this video thank you everyone have a good day